thank you. Thank you so much for everything. My dad, he's really dead, isn't he? He is. I'm still here, Mariah. I know how hard this must be for you. It was also my husband. We both lost a lot. I know, Mom. I'm sorry. I... Can we just go home now? It's not safe. It's still not over. Your father... is a man. He's not... Still here, Mariah. I know how hard this must be for you. It was also my husband. We both lost a lot. I know, Mom. I'm sorry. I. Can we just go home now? Mariah, it's not safe. It's still not over. Your father. Zenem. He's not the only one that would hurt. They won't give up on the descendant of the first dragonborn so easily. We can't go back home. You told her? Why would he want to keep it a secret from me in the first place, Mirai? It's better this way. I can look after you easier. You've already done so much for me. I don't want to worry you anymore. I know a lot of things have changed. But I'm still your mother. And all you have left, it, it's pretty much my job to worry. So... Where do we go now? Let's just stay in your home in Markarth for now. I don't think many people aside from your father knew about it. It should be safe. If we need to, I have a couple of friends here in Skyrim that could help us. Okay. Besides, we might be safer knowing the Dragonborn is looking out for us. I know she was probably a pain in the butt at times, but thank you so much for saving my daughter and for guiding her through all of this. It's not much, but if we can help you in any way, don't hesitate to let us know. We'll be in Mirai's home in Markarth if you ever need us. Come on, Mirai. We should get going. Just give me a minute. I need to say a few things. Okay. So, not much to say that my mom already hasn't, but I just wanted to say it again. Thank you. Hide, I guess. I know I haven't heard the end of it. As long as the cult stands, they won't stop sending more people after me. Maybe someday down the line, I'll find a way to put a stop to them. But until then, at least I can always count on your help, right? It's not like you got anything better to do. And, in return, if you ever need help with anything, I can come along. I might as well put these new powers to use, right? I may not have as many powers as you, but I'm sure I'll go stronger the more time we spend together. 
We can be shop buddies. What do you say? <laughs> It'll be so much fun. I look forward to it. Anyways, I should head home for now. If you need anything, you know where to find me. Wanna go somewhere? Yes. Yeah? What is it? What is it? I guess I could be honest with you now. Go ahead. Born and raised? I can't really say I miss it. I think going back there now, after all that's happened, would be awkward. Too many memories there. I can never look at my home the same way again. Me too. At the very least, this will always be the place that changed my life forever. Was that all? I have been alive for 17 years. Time just flies by, doesn't it? How old are you? I figured as much. You look your age. At least that means I have time to catch up to you. Was that all? Yeah, of course. I know I'm not the center of the world, but... I don't do it on purpose. I have trust issues. I know that. I just don't know how to react to people being nice to me for a change. <laughs> I'm trying to work on it. Was that all? Actually, there is. His name is Aldari. He's always been someone I can trust and rely on. I love him with all my heart. He's always so happy to see me, but sometimes he gets a little too excited, slobbering all over me. He's a dog, you moron! What kind of girl do you think I am? Was that all? <laughs> Only to marvel at how meaningless it is. It's hard to believe in after, well, what happened between my parents. You just never truly know someone. I'm way too terrified of having to go through that again. That person would have to be pretty amazing to change my mind about something like that. And... I don't have the best of luck with these things. Was that all? Live and let live, I always say. But, uh, me, personally? Uh, no. I'm sorry. I've never considered it. I guess I could be honest with you now. 
Go ahead. <laughs> well, that's a loaded question. Hmm. Well, you're the dragonborn of legend who saved my mother and I from a certain death. What can I really say? You will always be a very special friend to me. Hey, don't make this awkward. I just don't know you that well yet. Was that all? If that's all then... Oh, what is it? Ready when you are. Water breathing potions. Poor Heron must have forgotten Argonians have no use for such things. If anything, he should have sent health potions. I got bit by a slaughterfish on the last dive. Nearly snapped my arm in two. Still not sure how it held together. Team? You mean my sons? Oh, they're just here to get their feet wet. Although having them around does help with appearances. Well, there's Pericles, over by the crates. He's talented, but lazy. But it's hard to build a work ethic when everything comes easy. Bluethroat is the middle child. He doesn't like to talk to people, so it's best to give him his space. And lastly, my little hatchling, Anru, over by the fire. He's the youngest, but he doesn't like it if you baby him. Actually, as far as cargo goes, I've checked everything off my list, save for one thing. A lease agreement of some kind. 
Hopefully it's locked up in a chest somewhere. Otherwise, I doubt we can recover it. Is that what Aaron told you? That sneaky rat. Tell you what, why don't you keep the potions as collateral? You get that lease for me, and I'll toss in a little gold, too. You did? Splendid. I ought to add you to our team. We'll have to change the name, though. Ute and Sons won't really work if you're the one taking the lead. Don't worry, I was only joking. You wouldn't want to babysit this trio anyway. They're a group only a mother could love. In any case, I'd like you to take this document back to Heron. This other cargo can be delayed. But documents like that tend to be time-sensitive. Great. Here's your share of the salvaging fee. Do me a favor and let him know the rest of the cargo has been recovered. All right, boys, let's pack it up. We've got to get this to Dawnstar by week's end. Yes, Mother. I could have got that journal. Mother's just holding me back. You didn't die. I guess I shouldn't be so surprised. Good work. The faster we get out of here, the better. I do what's necessary so we can get by. Have to. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that.
Trouble? Don't worry, lad. The autumn gale never fails to deliver. That's a promise. The autumn gale is at the bottom of the ocean. Who's to say the documents are even legible? Well, I never said they'd be in perfect condition. Although, if you're unsatisfied, I may consider refunding a portion of the payment. And how are you going to refund my father's life? There's no amount of gold that can compensate me for that. Oh, right. In that case, I suppose I should just keep the gold then. Mm -hmm. With the terms of a contract being fulfilled and all. You greedy little snake! I'm going to tear the skin off of your skull! Hold that thought. It looks like my newest employee has returned. I understand. Hopefully you've I brought some good news. Just children play the part. I wouldn't fret over it. Yes, a land lease. That sounds exactly like the thing this lad is looking for. Well, lad, because you're such a valued customer, I went ahead and had my top agent expedite your request. Of course, there is a special fee that's part of our express delivery service. Fine. Once my father's name is cleared, you'll be paid in full. Just bill me with the details. But first, I want to verify the document. I'll deliver it personally. Well, is it true? Do you have the document? Is it signed by Ingrid? A few nobles from Solitude were out hunting and trespassed on my father's land. He mistook them for thieves and, well, things got bloody. One of the men was gravely injured. Now the other wants my father punished. That's up for debate. But if these men were trespassing, it will certainly help his case. It proves my father had a right to be on the land. He signed a lease with one of the Jarl's old thanes back when she was in court. A respected thane who moved to Hammerfell to help push back the Dominion. She owned the cottage and the plot of land my father leased, but they never made a contract as Nord's word is strong as steel. But that isn't good enough in a trial. Thus we had to send word to Hammerfell to have her sign the papers. Then there's still hope, but it might not be enough. I was wondering perhaps if I could loan your services. I'm on my way to the site of the altercation to see if I can find more evidence. Thank you, Salvager. Hopefully having another set of eyes will help. Greetings, traveler. Just say the word if you need a drink or something to eat. We may not have as much to offer as Whiterun or Solitude, but we'll do what we can to make your stay a pleasant one. Dragonborn, it's an honor.
Good. You came. There's a lot going on here, but we need to find things that corroborate with my father's version of what happened. That's partly why you're here. I need an objective witness with no stake in either side. Not many people can find the place, to be honest, since it's not on any map. The only reason the guards were able to arrest my father is because he was forced to spend the night in solitude. During the fight, the candle horn got knocked over. By the time the snow came, half the place was burned down, along with much of the evidence. Of course, my father said he was cooking dinner when he heard a commotion outside. The trespassers must have shot down the deer. Smelling my father's dinner, they offered to share the venison in exchange for a drink and a warm fire. On this much, both sides agree. But out here you can never be too careful. My father demanded the strangers to leave the property and take the deer with them. The strangers were insulted. In hindsight, my father should have shown more tact. Nobody likes to be called a thief. Eventually things got heated and shots were fired. These arrows are proof of that. My father ran inside and got his axe. There was a fight near the hearth when one of them knocked over a candle horn. When the fire started, everyone, including my father, fled. Given how detailed my father was, I wouldn't be surprised if your findings match his story. anyway, but he learned to love it because he knew how much it meant to me. Part of me thinks this is all my fault. Had I wanted to stay in the city, he wouldn't be in this situation. But then I think back to all those times we spent together and how much it meant to him, and I don't have the heart to take them away. Have you ever lost anyone close to you, friend? I'm sorry. I should have known you've dealt with such grief, given how far you've come to help a stranger. But I shouldn't be grieving. I should be fighting. And with your help, we'll prove my father's innocence. Dragon Boar. It's an honor. Praise the divines you are here. Come on, let me introduce you. There are many more than we already have. Further delay will not change the facts at hand. Mayor, if I may, the witness I spoke of earlier has arrived. Given he's examined the scene of the altercation, I'd like to have him cross-examine Formir's testimony. Are you sure this witness of yours can be objective? I had the captain of the guard vet him. Just as he did with your apothecary. Huh. We shall see. Vormir, 
There's still time to end this folly. The lease agreement proves you are trespassing. I think it's clear to both you and the court that it cannot be held accountable for your injuries. My yard. It is very noble of this man to defend his father's honor, and for that, he should be commended. Unfortunately, his contention that we trespassed on his father's property is simply not true. It is not trespassing if the man invites you into his home. You mentioned something that would convince us. Please proceed. Thank you, Mayal. You see, my house Carl and I were hunting a deer, and one of our stray shots happened to hit this man's cottage. An unfortunate accident, but nothing particularly damaging to the woodwork. Well, that's... that's because some of the arrows belong to my companion. I said I shot one arrow into the cottage by accident. I made no mention of him. Now, if you'll allow me to continue, my Jarl. After the arrow hit the cottage, this man's father came bursting through the door. We apologized for the disturbance. To make amends, we offered to share the venison with him. He agreed and beckoned me come inside. Naturally, we were pleased to get out of the cold. My companion took to skinning the deer while I perused a nearby bookshelf. I remember this part clearly because I was pleased to find my favorite series, The Wolf Queen, on the top shelf. In fact, I had just opened the book to the first page when I heard my companion scream. You don't know that. You weren't even there. Besides, Maybe he simply forgot to put the book back on the shelf. All I know is, that's how it happened. I would not lie in front of the Jarl. In any case, as I was saying, I heard my companion scream behind me. I turned around, only to see your father had struck him with his axe. Liar! Calm yourself. I let him tell his version. Please allow me the same courtesy. <sighs> Fine. When I saw my injured companion, I acted on reflex. I wrestled the assailant to the ground and told my friend to flee. At that point, I was certain I was going to die. I was fumbling about trying to find a weapon or perhaps a miracle. My hands found a candle horn. I threw it at my attacker and missed wildly, but when it struck the wood, the cabin lit up like a bonfire. And the fire is what allowed me to escape. And with that, I conclude my testimony. It is my belief that this man's father attacked us without provocation. What I ask for is not vengeance, Mayal, but for justice. But whatever you decide, I will humbly accept your judgment. Thank you. That was amazing. You buried him with his own lies. It was fun what Now what? If it pleases the court, I would like to introduce some new evidence regarding our witness's character, which I have just obtained by a courier. Very well. Thank you, Maya. <clears throat> I do not wish to alarm anyone here, but I believe this information may very well compromise the integrity of our chief witness. What are you up to, Formir? Explain yourself! It is not I who has to explain myself. After all, you are the one who attested to the impartiality of this witness. A witness who works for the shipping company that delivered the lease agreement. A ship, I remind you, that lies at the bottom of Pilgrim's Trench. Could it be the document is a forgery meant to save this company's reputation? Oh, come on now, Formir. Now you're just grasping at straws. You've clearly lost. Be thankful you and your companion escaped with your lives. Curse you. I will do no such thing. My honor demands justice. I request a trial by combat. Now why would I do that? <coughs> I'm not going to risk my father's life when the Jarl is minutes away from granting him a pardon. Huh. I thought for sure you would take that bait. But I won't stand here and give you the satisfaction of winning this trial. I'm <coughs> dropping the charges. You're what? But why? What's your game? 
Simple. If I allow Elisif to rule in your favor, that means I'll have to defy her will to get my way. You're a stubborn fool, Formir. But fine. I'd rather not leave it up to the Jarl either. Then we're agreed. I apologize for wasting the court's time. We will handle this matter internally. Good. You're dismissed. My Julianus, you did it. You saved my father's life. Yes, and the fact that the Jarl never made a decree means that there will be no record of this trial. Still, it will be a while before it's forgotten, and time will only weaken his case. We celebrate. I'm sure the first night outside of the dungeon, even the tavern will feel like Sovereign Guard itself. As for you, here, it's a piece of armor that saved my own life more times than I care to count. It may not be better than what you have, but it's important to me that you have it. Now, I'm off to meet my father. Steward, I didn't have anything specific planned, but I'll Tullius. just order a pint of there meat and let take care of the rest. About. I'm afraid he's had to reschedule my grace. By all accounts, waging war takes his every moment. Again? We can't simply cancel an appointment with